Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of a Westland Survival. How are we doing guys? Hope you guys are well. So what I wanted to do today is hopefully I want to finish off the storyline quest. Get that out of the way so we can move into other things. So that's what we're going to do. So to recap, what I had finished off on, I had finally um, went over to the stopover, uh, the outlaw stopover I believe it was and we had finally um, freed uh, Cora or Dora sorry and we're gonna go back over to have a chat to her and find out exactly what needs to be done for the next quest line so she's thankful which is awesome that was all Casey's work people whispered about him all the time in the saloon they say he murdered one of his rivals and poisoned the livestock with, of another. He's a terrible man, all this just to be top dog. I'll keep the ladies at my place. You talk to John, he might know which tribe they're from. So we might be going up north potentially. So let's go over this way. Go see what John has to say. Alright, not now. I saw a group of bandits heading out of town. I swear to God, I heard the name Molly. Okay. Unexpected turn, quest updated. We have to go back to our ranch. All right, let's head back over. Whilst we're doing that, if you guys are enjoying the series, if you guys are enjoying the video, please let me know by hitting that like button, comment down below, all that sort of good stuff. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. But with that, that out of the way, we're going to race back home. We're going to dump a few things. I have been sort of collecting a few things here and there. Um, and what I want to do exactly whilst I'm sort of heading back home is I'm going to start redecorating and redoing the base finally. So what I've done so far is just laid down some foundations. As you'll see once I spawn in, I've got all this here. So pretty much nearly ready to go. I'm going to start playing around with a few things that I'm sort of half interested in wanting to do. Once I get that done, um, hopefully we can get some modeling happening, which will be good because I've been hanging out to do this for the longest time and potentially once this is all done, I don't have to do it again. That's basically where I'm at with things. So we'll see. We'll see how we go with all that anyway. But as I'm sort of racing around just trying to get this all done how are you guys going with this new update have we finally gotten some of the fabled t5 resources um, i know a lot of people have been pointing out a few things to me so first off thanks for doing that um, so we have and i'm going to make a few videos on it too because i think it's going to warrant maybe a video or two is that we're going to definitely head over into the spirit cave now, what I want to do with the Spirit Cave is I want to check out um, the ability to get Tier 5 resources that way. I have seen that you can get it in light drops. There's actually no you know, nodes aside from large trees. So large trees, um, large trees, sorry, can be found in the Ash Grove. And I, I know a lot of people have been asking that question. It's there. Don't you guys worry. You just have to head over there and you'll find some large trees. Um, I think in my time I've been able to get up to about 15 I think just out of um, off the top of my head there and that way just sort of gives you guys a little bit to go on and you guys are sort of obviously aware of what's happening here anyway with that being said I know a few people have commented in regards to the kitchen now there's steak there wasn't steak beforehand. I'm not too sure why. A lot of people didn't have the ability to craft steak. I'm not too sure what's happened there. I don't think the game has updated or anything like that, but don't quote me on that. So I just thought I'd bring that to people's attention as well, because I noticed that was a bit of a issue. So not too sure what's happened there, but it's there. Just wanted to sort of point that out for a lot of you guys that may be concerned about that. I'm not too sure, but that was the uh, the concern that I had there and the final thing I wanted to touch on was a couple of things and hopefully if we do get the events we can sort of show you guys on video here first off the salt you can find it it is available 
I was able to find this in the stopover timed event. I'm guessing the, these time events like that or the rec to train event, you'll be able to find the salt, which makes a lot of sense. You'll find um, a train, you'll find a lot of um, uh, loot boxes. You would think that you would find salt. So that's that. And then with regards to the succulent ribs, uh, someone had pointed out, and again, thanks to the guys that are commenting about all this, is that you'll be able to find them from deer. Now, I'm not too sure if it's just a deer specifically, but it would be more or less deer, um, well, hopefully animals in general, but mainly for the moment, I've been able to find it with deer. So if you kill a deer, most likely you'd be lucky if you find some ribs. So check that out. Now, I don't know if it's zone specific. I was able to find it, I think, in my time in the dense forest when I was checking it out um, that time. So, like I said, a few little bits and pieces here I wanted to cover off whilst I had you guys and whilst we are sort of mucking about getting ourselves organized. It does, unfortunately, make us race up and back to, you know, I guess pointless runs, using up your energy. If you guys aren't using energy, if you're taking your time with it, well, good on you guys, but just thought I'd point that out. Now, we're gonna run back over to the sheriff here. He's gonna tell us what we're gonna to need to do. Um, my suspicion is we're probably gonna to have to run somewhere that's gonna use a little bit more energy, I would imagine. Um, hopefully it's not the north, so I don't have to go all the way up to the north, but we'll find out. All right, all right, take it easy. Do I need to arrest uh, butchery? You have no evidence of any kidnapping of your sister. Girl, as I told you, she left with them on her own free will. Indian women ain't protected by white man's laws. Everything else is just the usual rumors that surround powerful men. And you should just keep your own darn head down, okay? I might have to arrest you for killing Casey's men, but unlike you, he has evidence, a pile of dead bodies. Okay, we're gonna have to go over to Chalk. John, he's running over to us now. Okay, cool. I understand, but the situation is pretty tense. I have to leave town as quick as possible. I'll try to find something out about your sister and also about Casey Butchery. And he's off, he's walking. So we've completed, I guess. I don't know where he's heading off. Do we just follow him? Let's suss out what's going on. Okay, looks like he's just heading out. He's heading out of town. All right, I'm just, I'm walking out with you, buddy. Are we gonna be told where we're going? I don't know. But we'll find out. If there's anything that can be found out, I guess. Okay, so that's just the trader. Well, that's obviously the only Indian tribe, all that sort of good stuff there, but doesn't appear that we need to head over there not probably just yet so I don't know let's run over I'm gonna race back home anyway I just want to see if there's any changes if we do end up going back to our our home base there check out if there's any quest line that we need to worry about and then we'll sort of take it from there but so far that's all that we have I don't think that would be the rest of it. I don't know. So we've got our bet. We've got our story. There's no tasks here. I don't know whether or not it'll come in a future update. Who knows? Let's just check out this. There's nothing there. Don't need any of that. Not really. And she's not here. So... That could be it? Question mark, question mark? I have absolutely no clue. Okay. Well, let's jump back out. See if there's anything that we can see here. It doesn't appear that way. Okay. Well, there's nothing that we have here to trigger, unfortunately. 
what I might do is, just out of curiosity, is I might just ride up here. Just for the hell of it. Because there doesn't appear to be anything else that I can think of. They mentioned Indian tribe, so I want to head over just in case. Yeah, we'll find out, I guess. And I, I'm guessing my guy's going to get cold, maybe? Who knows? Well... We've got the ring bearer over there. This is probably empty. Would have raided that ages ago. Doesn't appear to be anything over here. Uh, just out of curiosity, we're just going to head over here. Nothing there. We've got a trader over here as well. Look at that. We've got some nickel ore. If we want to purchase that, we can. If not, um, you guys can use the resources above to fulfill and obviously make that purchase. But right now, I do not see anything. Have we finished it? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. Because that appears to be it. Yeah. Possibly. Or do I just make a beeline back over here? So let's just go ahead and purchase some energy. If not, if there's nothing else around here, what I may do is I may just head over to the Ash Grove, show you guys, well, hopefully there's some uh, large trees there, because I know I've read through the Discord that some people have not been finding large for some reason. That I have no idea, but we're going to suss it out. And hopefully we'll find exactly what we've been wanting to look for over there. But I just want to quickly jump back into town. And, oh, here we go. Okay, have to leave town as quick as possible. I'll try and find something out about your sister or something. Okay. Oh, okay. I had to physically let him leave. That's weird. Okay, because he just reappeared and then came came back. That was so weird. Yeah, I don't understand what's happened there. Let's just quickly jump back into town. I just want to see if there's anything that's changed because I'm really, right now, not too sure what's going on with this, so. Okay, well, no one's there. Right, I'm just gonna quickly go back over to the sheriff and just see what's what. He's not there. Just gonna see if he says anything to me. No. Nope, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, I have absolutely no clue what's going on. I really don't know what's happening here. Okay, well, I think I'm going to head out. I thought I'd give it a shot, just see if there's anything that I could see differently. Uh, right now, nothing so much. There's the, the trader over there, we don't need to worry about that. Nothing else that sort of speaks out to me here. Nothing else that sort of suggests that I should be running over to any zone. There's no even no little um, little icon on the zones whatsoever. I'm sure you guys are screaming at your phones or your screens right now saying what I need to do next. So, yeah. Anyway. I'm just going to head back home. I want to grab a couple of axes. We'll head over to the Ash Grove as it doesn't appear that there's anything that I can do around here. Not too sure what's happening with that. Don't know if I've messed it up or glitched out or I have absolutely no clue. I would like to think that he might meet me at home base. I'd like to think so. And we can probably continue on with the, with the quest line, but it doesn't appear to be that way. Well, that's unfortunate. Alrighty, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and grab, ooh, what do I wanna grab? Actually, you know what? 
better grab that because I'll take that with me. The Remington, as nice as it is, it's probably not the best weapon for me to muck around with. So I'd rather grab the right weapons, I guess. And what else do I have here? I'm going to have to grab that. I'll swap that over with that. And is there any other axe that I can take with me? I don't think so. I think I might have some in my inventory. So we'll leave that alone. And oh, come on, what are you doing? Actually, do I have another axe in here? I think I might. Because I haven't even unloaded all of this. There doesn't seem to be anything. That was still in the initial update video when I released it. Anyway. Well, like I said, if I've missed anything or if I'm supposed to go somewhere, uh, let me know, guys. Because right now I just don't know exactly where I should be going and I'm not too sure what's happening. Anyway, let's head over here and let's see if we do run into any large trees. So I know a few people ask if I can get it on camera, so I'm doing it. At least this way you guys will get to see it. And I'm sure you guys have already seen it for yourselves or you've done it yourselves before. But for those that haven't, I'm going to show you guys now. So you should be able to find some larch in this ash grove here. Now the icon itself, if you're looking in the minimap, they're going to be a yellow color. You know, you've got your ash um, tree just here as I chop him down. So this will be your dark green. And then you've got your light green, which would be your... Um, uh, your oak that's what I'm looking for so priorities first I know there's a bit of ash in here so not too worried about that don't get me wrong would like to grab uh, some ash but I'd rather find the trees that I want and there's a deer actually I'm gonna let him come back to me and that's a good thing about that too, is that eventually he will come back to you. Take him out, see if we get any ribs. No, we don't. So I'm going to keep my eye out on that as well. Check out if there's any more deer here. And we'll hopefully, hopefully grab some ribs. And I'll just grab a few of these because I know I'll probably need them. Right now I don't see any... Oh, we've got a grizzly. Got a grizzly just ooh and my guy is a naked it's alright we should be alright I've got enough heals and everything else to fend off any sort of enemy so what we'll do is we'll head back over this way and just carefully make our way over now the first time when I found the large trees they were sort of in the top right hand corner but this time around, I'm sure that when you get generated uh, maps, as you sort of load in, they're obviously going to be a little bit different. So you're just sort of going to have to, you know, um, just make a note of that for yourselves. But hopefully, like last time, they were sort of in a cluster. So when if you find one, you should find them all. And you should get about 15 logs, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we've got a furious piazza. Furious PRC, you say. Okay, well, even though that I've got very little um, armor, doing quite well. There we go. I'll just take that. Thank you very much. And we've got all these little enemy dudes scattered. Whoa, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, no, 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 no. What is going on here? Hang on. Come on. There we go. Jesus. We've got a sniper over here that just will not stop. All right, he's all right. Okay, I don't think there's any larch over here, so I don't think I'm going to find any, actually. Well, that's going to be a shame. Sort of really wanted to show you guys, but that's... A disappointing outcome. I think I'm just going to have to um, push my way through and see if there's anything around here which I haven't actually seen. Nope, doesn't appear that way. 
Well, it looks like I've sort of covered the map itself. What I can do is I can sort of quickly duck out, run over to another zone and come back and see if it has changed over. That might be the go. Because it doesn't seem that I've found anything up this way. So I'm just targeting everything on the minimap here, just scanning through, making sure that, you know, I found it, I've covered everything which it looks like I have. So, oh well, is what it is. So what we'll do is I'm going to head out. I'll quickly run over to the next zone. And my dude here is pretty much hungry actually. I'm going to have to feed him too. So, let's just walk over there. We'll speed up. That's not a problem actually. And see if there's any food in my inbox because that's going to help. Got the VIP coins. That's where I was, I was looking for those oats. Oh good, I'm gonna have to plant those when I get back to base. And okay, cool, I've got some steaks, but I'm just gonna take the dried meat. Because that will be good. And I know it's not much at all, but it's better than no armor whatsoever. So okay. Beautiful. Okay, it looks like we are good, and I'm just going to quickly fill that all the way. And let's just cash in on some energy there. Perfect. Alright, I'm just going to enter the zone just to ensure the full refresh of the Ash Grove has gone through. But there you go. So you're not going to be guaranteed to get large every single time you enter the zone. So keep that in mind, guys. I don't know if it's on a um, on a visit basis on how many times you visit the zone versus um, the spawn rate, if that makes sense. That's something that we probably need to sort of think about as well. That if you've gotten it one time, you might need to do a count or so as to how many times it might take for you to re-enter the zone for it to spawn, I'm guessing. Maybe, I'm not too sure. These thugs here are not doing me any favors. I probably should have taken a Remington with me, so it doesn't matter. I'm guessing maybe you might find Larch in the Maple Forest. I haven't really checked properly, as you've just seen there, because I am adamant that if I do travel over here, I should find some, but again, we don't know. And yes, I'm sort of wasting the uh, spawn of the zones especially if I'm not getting things like ash and things like that so I get that but I really want to show you guys some larch and hopefully that might become a reality now let's hope so okay let's see let's see let's see let's see please be kind to us today okay nothing up here there's a lot of ash, that's for sure. A lot of ash. And that's good. I mean, it's obviously going to help us with upgrade path, go to uh, T5 workstation. Uh, and that's for pretty much a lot of the uh, the workstation benches, the storage containers, all that sort of good stuff. So all that's going to be a thing. Ah, here we go. Perfect. All right, so we do have to get rid of the furious uh, Piazza over here. So we're just going to do just that. Let's get out of the way. Come on. And we shall take our little spoils there. So as you can see, they're nice, they're yellow, they're golden, whatever you want to call them. But in the minimap, as you can see there, ooh, I've got some marble. That's my first lot of marble. Hello. And a bit of ash board there. You know what? I'll just take all that. So yeah, here we go. So every time that... Ooh, course you want to intervene so it's going to take about four or to five maybe six hits you get three large uh, logs and they're always going to be in a little cluster there so as you can see it's like a near perfect circle with the oak and the larch so first tool is broken that was to be expected um, but yeah that's pretty much 
all that you need to do. So it looks like one in two entries into the ash grove and you get yourself the little cluster of larch. Now I haven't seen any more than that in the zone and once I've chopped this fella down I should have about 15 which I do. So that's pretty much it there. So all right perfect I'm happy that I've found what I've wanted to find and that's pretty much it so might be a good time to go ahead and leave it as we normally do so what I might do is I might hang out and try and get as much ash tree as possible but look again if you ended up enjoying the video be sure to let me know by hitting the like button comment down below guys want to hear your chatter want to hear your progression with everything in the game what do you guys want me to do next let me know in the comments um what you like me to cover do you want me to go into the spirit cave next do you want me to do a canyon trial is there something else that you guys want me to do let me know in the comments i'll be interested to know what you guys would like me to do so you guys can see it anyway take it easy and as always i will catch you guys next time